Hello, this is Julie. I just purchased this Craft Delicious Volume 3 from the Hungry Jake Peg. And I had a question posted in our group about how would we use some of the swashes and some of the fonts and laurels included in this package. This is a massive bundle and full of really delightful cutting files and SVG format as well as some really nice fonts. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of them quickly and how to use them and make the cut. So I'm going to go to make the cut and first I'll show you how to use the SVG files where the laurels are found. If I click on SVG at the top of the screen and make the cut, then I browse to this bundle and I'll show you what it looks like after you unzip it. There's documentation, fonts, and then cut files. I'm going to double click on cut files and they have a couple different folders, all graphics and compile graphics. So I'll take a look at compiled graphics. You notice that they have DXF files or SVG. If you have Silhouette Studio, you might want to use DXF. I use SVG and make the cut. So I'm going to double click SVG because that's what I want to look at. Now you'll notice if I just scroll through here, hundreds of files. We're going to look at the laurels. You can click on a laurel SVG to see its image in the preview window and then you can arrow down using your arrows to scroll through these different images until you find the image that you like. I found lots of designs that I like in here. I'm looking for something maybe that I could use in a 3D flower bouquet for a wedding. This one's nice so I click on open and it comes in very large. You can resize it by adding the dimensions in the width or height window or just simply clicking on a, a straight corner arrow to make it the size you want. They have some lots of other designs that are very nice. If you notice in here, if I, all of the SVG files in this bundle are alphabetically organized. So if I go down laurels, you'll see that there are, how many laurels are there? 110. You're sure to find some kind of laurel in this package that you could use. Now, I like this one, I think. Just, yep, got a preview and that looks good, so I'll open it. And I think this would be really nice in a floral bouquet which I'm working on right now. So once I have it and make the cut, I just go to File and Save As, and then I can name it whatever I want and put it wherever I want. I'll put it on my desktop because I'm going to use it in a flower arrangement today, and we'll call this Laurel. And there it is. So you can use these in any software that uses SVG files. Pretty amazing. 